Good morning children. We are going to be doing our English listening and speaking on the life cycle of the salamander. How do salamanders protect themselves? Firstly, they release a poison that tastes bad or causes pain. Secondly, they lash their tail to defend itself. If their tail breaks, they can grow a new one. And lastly, the detached tail keeps wriggling to distract the enemy while it escapes. Salamander enemies. Predators like turtles, squirrels and snakes prey on the salamanders. Their eggs and larvae are also eaten by fish, crayfish, turtles, birds, and frogs. Humans pollute and destroy their habitats. Now children, let us go through some questions on the salamander. Number one, what do salamanders release that tastes bad and causes pain? Remember children, they release a poison that tastes bad or causes pain. Number two, if their tail breaks off, can they grow a new one? The answer is yes, they can grow a new tail. Number three, name the salamander's predators. They have predators like turtles, squirrels, and snakes. Number four. What do humans do to their habitat? Humans pollute and destroy their habitat. Now we have come to the end of our listening and speaking lesson on the salamander. We are going to be doing our phonics lesson. It says, full ing sound at the end of words to complete the words. So children, e, n, g makes the ing sound. Let us go through some of the words that end with the ing sound. R, ing, ring, w, ing wing k ing king now we have come to the end of our phonics lesson please do not forget to complete your phonics activity in your work pack so now boys and girls we will be doing our writing lesson which is our grammar skills we will be learning singular and plural singular singular means one person animal or thing example car house shop horse and boy plural plural means many or more than one person animal or thing we will use the same example and see how the words are going to change. Cars, houses, shops, horses, and boys. Add S or ES to show more than one. Remember, boys and girls, we add ES to words ending with CH S H X O S and S S. We have a list of words which we need to add S or E S to. Let us go through these words. Which book watch star girl beach and brush. Now, 
Let's see how these words will change. Which will change to witches. Book will change to books. Watch will change to watches. Star will change to stars. Girl will change to girls. Beach will change to beaches. And brush will change to brushes. So now we have reached the end of our writing lesson. Boys and girls, please do not forget to complete your writing activity in your work pack. Good morning, children. We are going to be doing our English shared reading. The story is called Little Red by Jessica MacDonald. So now, children, you can say the name of the story. Little Red by Jessica MacDonald. Once there was a girl. Her name was Little Red. She set off to her grandma's house. For Graham was sick in bed. Now, children, I am going to read this again, and you will read it with me. Remember, when you see a comma, you need to pause, and when you see a full stop, you need to stop. Once there was a little girl. Her name was Little Red. She set off to her grandma's house. For Graham was sick in bed. She wandered through the forest with her basket full of bread. She ran into the big bad wolf. Where are you going? He said. So children, I am going to read this again and you will read it with me. Remember to pause when you see a comma and to stop where you see a full stop. She wandered through the forest. With her basket full of bread. She ran into the big bad wolf. Where are you going? He said. So children, as you can see the inverted commas, this shows what the wolf had said directly. And there is also a question mark because the wolf had asked a question. I'm headed to my grandma's house. Can't stop to talk, said Red. The sneaky wolf, he made a plan. And then away he sped. Let us read this again and you will read it with me as well. I'm headed to my grandma's house. Can't stop to talk. Said Red. The sneaky wolf, he made a plan, and then away he sped. As you can see, here as well children, there is inverted commas. 
So this is what Little Red had said directly. When Red got to her grandma's house, she saw her there in bed. Oh, what big eyes and ears and teeth you have upon your head. Now I am going to read this again and you will read it with me. When Red got to her grandma's house, She saw her there in bed. Oh, what big eyes! And ears. And teeth. You have upon your head. Here you can see the inverted commas as well, children. This is what Little Red had said directly. And there is also an exclamation mark at the end after the word head. This shows that Little Red had expressed herself. The better to eat you with, my dear. The hungry wolf just said, Please don't eat me, said Little Red. Just eat my bread instead. I am going to read this again and you will read it with me. The better to eat you with, my dear. The hungry wolf just said, Please don't eat me, said Little Red. Just eat my bread instead. So children, at the beginning, the inverted commas shows when the wolf was talking directly and thereafter the inverted commas was used when Little Red was talking directly. And that was the end of our story. So children, now you can try reading this on your own. I know you can do it.